Hey there, this is Chad Garber, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to play BYOB by System of a Down. And here are some of the parts. There's about five or I think it's five or six parts, give or take. Here's the first part. <laughs> So that's pretty much it. There's something at the end. It does a little bit of a um, variation on one, of, on one of the parts I'm showing you, but you can just listen to it and figure that out. Okay, so if you like this video, by the way, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more like this. Okay, let's get into it. First off, very important, you got to tune your guitar way down. You got to make your low E become a C sharp. F sharp, make your B, A sharp, and make your E a D sharp. It's way down. Alright, so the very first part, open the D, you do an open D, you're going to do alternate picking really quick. And you might want to, if you're not good at this, you might want to practice just without doing anything else, just do this. Is this about the speed of this? That's not that fast. That's about this fast. All you're gonna do is you're gonna put your um, put your middle finger on the seventh fret of the D string, pull off. And have it open, have, pull it off to an open D. Well, actually, you can pick down, actually. Yeah, pick down. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go. I'm just gonna go slow. I can't really tell you how many numbers it is. It's kind of hard to figure that out. Alternate picking the whole time, and then when you're when you're hitting those strings, you're pulling off. And when you pull off the open D, it's, it counts as one of the open D's. See what I'm saying? So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two,
I do as far as hitting those notes, I pick down the first one, pick down the second one, pick pick up when I hit the eighth fret. So yeah, basically I'm doing I'm hitting the seventh fret and the eighth fret. By the way, that's all I'm doing. I'm going back and forth between those. But I'm hitting so I'm hitting the seventh fret twice, going down, down, up for the eighth. And then up again on the seventh. And then down on the seventh. And then it just takes out the first part, you need it does this instead. In other words, it takes out the it takes out some of the open D's and he does. It's going back and forth between the seventh and the eighth fret of the D, pulling off and counting this as the open D's. It does it seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm picking down the, on the seventh, up on the eighth, up on the seventh, and then down. The I tried to go as slow as I could. Hopefully this helps give you a little bit of an idea. Maybe just mess with it for a while until you can figure it out. It's not easy. It's not easy, I'll tell you that. It's really fast. Alright, the next part is you're doing the open E or whatever it is. It's not an E. It's a C sharp. C sharp E is the, low, the lowest root note string. You're gonna go Going back and forth between the seventh and the eighth on the low E, left seventh fret. I'll use my pointer fingers and my ring finger. Pick down the open E. And I actually pick up. I pick up every time almost. Slow. So you're going back and forth between the seventh and the eighth fret with the low E doing a bunch of alternate picking in there. Here you go. And that's just the bar chord starting with your um, pointer finger on the seventh fret of the A, your ring finger on the, the ninth fret of the D, sliding up one fret, your pointer finger from the eighth fret of the A, and your pointer fingers, I'm sorry, your ring finger, but I said I meant ring finger, ring fingers on the 10th fret of the D, and then you go up to the third one, which is your pointer finger on the 10th fret of the A, and your ring finger on the 12th fret of the, of the, the D. Then you do the whole thing again. You do it backwards. But this part is... Get it right. It's hard to, to, to describe how to do it. 
alternate picking again. You know, you pull, it's, the, it's the whole concept of this song. It's, it's picking, you know, picking a string, pulling it off to an open, and then and then doing some alternate picking as well. So, I think that's right, but if it's not exactly right, you can listen to the song and try to figure it out. You can even get some software that will slow things down so you can hear it better. gonna do since you're at C sharp and you're and you're in A uh, C sharp you gotta you know if you hit the, the two top two strings together or the lowest strings you got the whole grind so you can hit you know wherever you hit on the those two strings together will sound cool so what he does is he take I take my ring finger put it on the fifth fret of the both the low E and the low A strings which are actually the um, C sharp and the G sharp. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep calling the the E E and the A strings just so you can so I don't have to keep on confusing you. So I put my fifth fret on the lowest. I'm gonna call them the lowest two strings. I put my fifth fret on the lowest two strings. Put my ring finger on the fifth fret of the lowest two strings. And then I put my pointer finger on the third fret of the lowest two strings. So on the third fret, and then I go down to the, my pointer finger on the second fret of the lo lowest two strings. I use my middle finger to go back up to the third fret of the lowest two strings. First fret back, or my pointer finger up on the back of the second fret of the lowest two strings. And then you hit open, hit the, hit the two lowest strings together, open. Open uh, two, to open two strings. Then use your pointer finger on the second fret of the two strings. The second fret to the third fret to the fifth fret. Back to the third fret. Again, I use my pointer finger, my uh, middle finger, and my pinky. And so I go all the way up. Oh, oh, two, three, five, three, two, oh, three, two. Okay. It's this chord, which is your third fret of the your pointer finger on the third fret of the A and your ring finger on the fifth fret of the D. Okay, then it goes. All that is is you open A, hammer on with your ring finger on the third fret of the A. Open A on the D, picking down. Bring your middle finger on the, the third fret of the, you know, hammer down the third fret of the D string. Then you've got super so your third finger on the D, the third fret of the D fret, the D string. Then you do your pointer finger on the second fret of the D, and then you pull it open. You can even do the whole thing, pull it, hammer on, pull it. Three two zero on the D string. Using my middle finger and pointer finger. Where you can pick it up. 
on the those two strings. This is again all the lower, you're hitting the two lowest strings. O, zero, which is open. Five, seven, eight, like seven, like five. heaviest song I've ever heard and played. The distortion just sounds amazing. The whole thing is just ama amazingly distorted and powerful. But anyway. <laughs> Takes your you know, middle finger and do the third fret and do a major bend on the, on the A. It's like that, literally like that. Okay, so that's the whole part is. The next part, he's just doing open the two, the, the lowest two strings. Here's the rhythm. Then he goes to that other the chord, the third your pointer finger on the third fret of the A, and your ring finger on the fifth fret of the D. Then he does that same lick at the, the end of that last lick. This, this, that part's the same, he just adds this and it goes. I go. I do all, I think I'm alternate pick in there. Here's the rhythm. kind of goes into the and then the next part is you just do the single string five seven and then five seven ten eight seven yeah five seven ten eight seven really fast but I'll, I'll, I'll alternate picking The hammer on pull off it. Pick pick down hammer up. Pick down pull off it. Then it goes. Then it goes. Open, open E, I mean, open to the, the two low strings, keep them open, zero. Then he does that, open for a couple times. Then you put your pointer finger on the first fret of the A, and your ring finger on the fifth fret, of, a third fret of the D. Then you do an open A. Then you put your pointer finger on the second fret of the A, and play the open A, uh, the D, and play the open A together. And then you do the big part of the beginning. I'm 
sorry, I'm sorry. You do the same thing you do at the beginning, except you're on the A string. It's a seven, seven, eight, seven. I forgot to show you. There's two parts that begin the same notes, but the timing is a little bit different. So at the very beginning, the very first verse, which I've already showed you, goes. So to that part. But then after that part, it goes. It goes back and forth between the seventh and eighth, in a in a three. I think it's in three four time, or it's in a weird time. I think it's three four time, but it's in. A, So it changes from <laughs> same same notes, but the same chords even, it's just you gotta listen to the timing, it's different. Actually, and this, this one goes straight to the you know, your finger on the uh, eighth fret of the A, and your, and your ring your ring finger on the ten, tenth fret of the D. You don't you don't go. You don't, so you don't instead of going. Let's go. Second part, the second. You gotta listen to it because he, he doesn't do the punches at the same time. He, he does a really long one there. And I think that's all the parts. Um, at the end, yeah, at the end he does something I can't remember what it does, but it's, it's something. It's one of those things I've taught you that there's a variation to it. Uh, I think that's it. If I missed a part, then I'll I'll do another video. But uh, again, this song is challenging. There's no question. It's super fast, and so you got to really work at it. Go slow until you can get it right. And so hopefully you can eventually get to the. <laughs> That might not even be as fast as they go. They go even faster. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this. And if you like this video and others like it, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more. And have a great day jamming out with System of a Down.